In this short video, I'll show you how to use Synthesis, which is a very simple tool to use. At the top, we have a number of icons which give you menu options. Save will save whatever is displayed on screen after you've generated an article. Whether it's the HTML, text or spin version, this will save it to your computer so that you can use it in the future. Spin will create a spun version, a single spun version, of whichever of these tabs is showing. So again, whether it's HTML, text or a spin version and the spin versions will show up on this tab. If you've set up blogs in the blog command area here, you can post an article directly to your blog with a single click. If you want to check how unique the article is, you can click on the copyscape icon and it will tell you within a couple of seconds whether the article is unique. And the history icon will show you any articles you've generated for this particular license key. So even if you use a desktop and a laptop, Whenever you log into your account from the license area here, you will be able to see your history. Now, when you log into the license area, you only need to do that once, and the machine that you're installed on will remember that for you, so your history will come along with it. There are three main options for creating articles, Synthesis itself, Article Builder, and PLR. We'll start with Synthesis. As you can see, you put a main keyword here, and then sub-keywords, up to five of them if you wish, each one on a separate line and then choose the options as you can see add an image a video shuffle the paragraphs and generate an article title you can choose how many words you want between 50 words approximately up to about 750 words to suit your particular needs i'm going to do a simple example with weight loss but if i wanted some keyword suggestion ideas i can use the keyword suggestion tool here add in my main keywords so the example we're giving is weight loss and then click on suggest now, after a few seconds, you'll see a whole bunch of keywords appear with the search volume and advertiser cost per click information. You can then scroll down, choose the ones you like, and you can choose more than one by clicking on it, then choose another one by control clicking or command click if you're using a Mac, and you can choose as many of these as you wish, up to five. When you click on use selected keywords, the main one will be entered into the main keyword area and the returned keyword suggestions will be put into this sub keyword list here as you can see. Now the specific keywords may or may not bring up particular sub paragraphs so in some cases you may go with just the main keyword with others you might want to put a couple of sub keywords I'm going to put in intermittent fasting here as an example and I'll choose add a related image and related video and we'll stick with about 500 approximately for the number of words. Click on generate article and as you can see we have a status bar that will tell us as the article is being created for us. I'll pause the video until it's finished. It can take a few seconds, it can take a few minutes depending on the time of day. So when it's finished you can now see the HTML version of the article here and we can have the plain text version here as well and if we want to create a spin version, choose whether it's HTML or text, hit the spin button up here, give it a click, and within a few seconds you'll get a new version of the article that has been spun automatically for you. Now we can save the HTML version, click on save, and you'll see it will be saved with an HTML extension. You can do the same with the text version and with the alternate spin version that I've just created. Again, we just use the save option. Now, if you've set up blogs here, which I'll show you in a moment, then you can post the article directly by clicking on the post icon. I haven't set up any blogs yet, uh, but I'll do that in a moment and show you how to post directly from Synthesis. So we go into the blogs area, click on add a blog, and the description you add is to remind you which blog this is. So I've got a demo weight loss blog and then we'll put in the URL, the root of the blog. Now you have to be careful here, so if you don't know which your blog root is, you may need to ask your hosting company, but when you set up your blog in the first place, you choose that root uh, URL, so you should know what it is. In my case, this is the root for my demo blog. We then put in the uh, username and the password, I'll just blank these out, and we have a choice of strategies. Depending on your hosting company, the default setting may work just fine. Some hosting companies have extra security, so we offer you a plugin, and if you install the plugin onto your blog, 
that can bypass the problems that some hosting companies cause and allow you to post. You will need to check uh, by testing to see whether you can use the default setting or whether you have to use the plugin. I already have that installed on my blog. It's a normal plugin. It installs the same as any other, only takes a few seconds. When we click on Save, that blog is now defined and I can add as many blogs as I want. So when I go back to my article, I'll choose the HTML copy and in fact let me just show you the blog first. So this is the blog at the moment. I'll come back to Synthesis and I'm going to post this article directly to the blog with one click from here. Before I do that, I'll show you whether this is unique just by clicking on Copyscape. I will be able to find out if my article is actually totally unique. And in this case, it is. It's 100% unique, so I'm good to go. Click on Post. Now, if I had more than one blog defined, I could choose the blog I want to post to. I've just got a single demo blog here, so I'll choose the blog. I'll choose any of the options here. By default, it will post as a published post, but if you prefer it as a draft so you can go in and make changes, just check this box. And then the category list here is read from the blog that you choose here. So let's have a look. I'm going to go for weight loss in this example. If you use tags on your blogs, just type in the ones you want here for this post. I don't. And then click on post to post the article to your blog. Now if I refresh the blog, you'll see what it looks like. So this is the example. And you can see I've got a nice post that is unique in a few seconds. My history will reflect to show this article has been created and you can see this is the article I've just made this is one I made previously and we can create a new article as many times as we wish now article builder works in a similar way you choose the category that you want so if we go back to weight loss then the approximate number of words let's go for 400 and then click generate article now if you haven't saved your article you will be reminded to do so I don't need to save this so here's an, another example, and this is from Article Builder. We can create a spin version, and of course we get the text version. And if a spin version is made, it will show up on this tab. If we go for the PLR database, you see we choose a category. So let's have a look at health and weight loss again, and choose a keyword. So I'll choose a keyword of, let's say, exercise, and see what articles come up. And we've got a whole bunch of them here, as you can see, with the word count in the right-hand column. If I click on one, I can see a preview. And if I'm happy with that one, I can then use the article. And you can see it uh, populates the HTML and text columns. And again, I can use the spin option to create a new version of that article. And now what I've got is a totally new version here. And again, any of these I can post directly to my blog by choosing the blog, the category, and the options here and then clicking on post. If you need support, the support URL is under the help file along with this video. And if you need to buy additional credits ever in the future, come to the license page and you can see there's an option here for buying additional credits.